All right, this is my uh, semi-original poem. I know it's not a song, but uh, we're going to go with it. "'Twas the night before Cubsmas." "'Twas the night before Cubsmas. You know about that. Not a creature was stirring, not even the rats. Stirrups were hung in the clubhouse with care, in hopes that spring training soon would be there. The prospects were snuggled on various lists, with visions of coffee mugs held in their fists. And I, with my labor of love, never slog when I'm covering the team in this little web log. When all across Cubdom the news hit on Twitter, the team had just signed a mid-level hitter. Out to the bleachers, I flew like a dart, then paused to catch my breath and stifle a fart. The LED lights from the Jumbotron's glow cast their electronic light on dead ivy below. When what to my rose-colored eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh filled with pricey craft beer. With two little drivers, it needn't be said, I knew in a moment, St. Carter and Jed. You could tell from the caution exercised in their flying and carefully worded statements that make you think they are lying. We'll build you a winner. We're not just spinning our wheels by kicking the tires and doing minor league deals. To the top of the basket, the top of the wall. Now mash away, mash away, mash away all. As gulls that within the cool lake breeze fly, when they meet with an outfielder, mount to the sky. So up to the rooftops, the cubbies, they flew with a sleigh full of beer in the front office, too. And then in an instant, I heard from my seat the stomping and scratching of each little cleat. As I sipped my brew and was looking around, up to the ivy, St. Jed came with a bound. He was dressed for the weather, his sweater a must, but his clothes were not tarnished by dirt or chalk dust. Bundles of prospects he had flung on his back, and he hugged them all tight as he opened his pack. PCA, how he sparkled, his glove was so new. And Kevin Alcantara was there with him, too. And there was Kate Horton getting ready to toss. If he's this good in June, we'll have nary a loss. While everyone spoke, St. Jed bit his lip, though I could tell in his mind he was still spanking it. Then came Jordan Wicks, all youthful and stout, took a look at the runner before striking the batter out. "'Twas a scene from a movie like Die Hard or Elf, "'and I smiled when I saw it in spite of myself. "'But a wink from Jed Hoyer and a nod from his head "'soon let me know to let go of my dread. "'He spoke not a word, but went back to his rebuild, "'with scores of fans still not feeling fulfilled. "'He may whiff on free agents again and again "'while pursuing another big World Series win.' But he sprang to his sleigh and to his team gave a whistle. Then away they all flew like a batted ball missile. But I heard them exclaim, I swear I did, bro. Take me out to the ball game and go, Cubs, go. <laughs>